Hey guys, this is my hair review for VSPE Hair Company. They went ahead and sent me some of their Brazilian Body Wave hair. Uh, right now, I have in three bundles of 26 inch and an 18 inch lace closure. Now, in this review, I will be giving you guys my honest opinion of this hair as well as doing a series of tests to see how good the quality of this hair is. So if you are interested in learning more about this hair, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started with the feel, look, and smell of the hair straight out of the package. The feel of the hair is very, very, very soft. The ends of the hair, I did not see any split ends the look of the hair it looks really really nice i'm really satisfied with the way the hair looks and the smell of the hair i did not smell any type of odor with this hair and the webs i thought were well a good good amount of um hair so within the package i also received this little amount of hair i think it's about eight inches long um, and then also a lace closure and this is a free part lace closure I really like the way the closure looks it has that rim that will allow me to easily sew it down without destroying the lace also I thought that the thickness of the hair on the lace was very good as well it wasn't too much density um, also the parting of the closure was very good as well. The first test I decided to do before installing the hair was the tangle and shedding test. I really wanted to see how much tangling and shedding I would get from this hair and I really didn't get a lot of tangles or shedding before I installed this hair. How I installed this hair was by doing a custom lace closure wig. I didn't have any issues installing this hair. The only thing I did notice with this hair is within each bundle you will only get four rows that you are able to sew onto the wig cap or doing a sew-in. So just be mindful that you will only get to sew four rows per bundle. I decided to do another tangle and shedding test after I installed the hair because I know that the hair can be completely different from it being straight out of the package and you installing it. Now I did notice that once I installed the hair I did get a little bit more tangling and shedding with the hair and I just want to let you guys know that I did not cut the webs I just did the fold over method when I made my wig. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was actually a limp check. Um, I'm about 5'1", and I wanted to actually show you guys how long the hair falls on me. And as you can see, it is way below my waist. It actually hits my, way past my butt, actually. Um, this hair is pretty long. Like I said it before, it is 26 inches. This is the longest I've ever had. Uh, and I really really like the length. I like the fact that if I did want it to straighten it even gets it gets even longer. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is basically the hair movement and whether or not I get shedding running my fingers through the hair. Now the hair it moves, it's very flowy. I don't have any issues with that. And as far as me running my fingers through it um i do get a little bit resistance as far as with the tangling and the shedding i do get a couple of strands of hair each time i do run my fingers through the hair okay so i wanted to do i wanted to uh, do a close-up of the actual wave pattern of this hair i have not used a curling wand or any type of curling tool to curl this hair this is the actual wave pattern the next test that I did on this hair was the flat iron test. I am using my FHI heat flat irons to see how straight this hair can get. And this hair, it did get somewhat straight. 
Um, I only passed the flat irons through the hair twice because I didn't want to have too much heat damage to this hair and I really didn't want to get it bone straight but I know if you did want to get it bone straight you would probably have to pass the flat irons through it a few more times after I straightened the hair I wanted to see how good this hair would recurl so this is of course is the recurl test and I'm using my Bel Belza curling wand and I only allow the hair to stay on the curling wand for a few seconds and it did recurl without any issues I didn't do my other tests that I usually do I didn't co-wash this hair yet because I wanted to see how the hair was before I co-washed it and I didn't dye it because of course I wanted to keep this hair at its natural color um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this hair review uh, if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below I hope you guys like and subscribe as well as follow me on my new Instagram page and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!